and like take that win even in a fight to the finish, does that give you confidence going into Paris? Uh, definitely, yeah. I feel stronger than ever, to be honest. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it was a good race out there. Uh, the crowd was just crazy, so it felt like we were like flying the whole time. <laughs> um, definitely loved just feeling that energy. Though. You guys look so smooth when you went past Parker. Um, through those two last two or three laps, run me through kind of what your strategy was and how you wanted to approach those last couple laps. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I definitely knew that, like, I was relying a bit on my 1500 speed, you know, I knew that it was going to be, you know, kind of a sit and kick kind of race, and so definitely had confidence um, going into the last lap that um, I could be right there for the finish, um, no matter, you know, how fast it went. So, um, yeah, it felt, felt pretty good. Why are you just sunk in yet that you're going to Paris? <laughs> Not quite. After we get done all this, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to go see Ivan and uh, get some dinner. So. Yeah, what's the first thing you're going to do to celebrate? Uh, eat some pizza. <laughs> um, yeah, get Ivan to bed, honestly. <laughs> yeah, the celebration is different now that you got a kid. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. But still got another 1500, so not going to celebrate too much tonight. Why did you decide to run this event at the trials in addition to the 1500 this year? Um, I think it was just, uh, I had a bit of a change of heart I didn't originally want to, and, um, you know, I, I think it's just like a, a really great opportunity to double at the Olympic trials, and, you know, I made my first world team in the 5,000 in Doha, and to be able to do both here is, um, you know, pretty awesome, and I just didn't want to give up an opportunity, you know, I think it would have been hard to sit at home and watch the 5,000 go by, and, um, you know, there's enough days to recover, so. I, I'm just happy to do both. If you made both teams, would you compete in both at the Olympics? I, ha I, I haven't made that decision yet, but I think the schedule will be pretty tough. Yeah. Ellie, there's never been uh, a podium in the history of this event at the trials that had every woman under 15, and then obviously it was even deeper than that. Like, does, does that just enhance how meaningful it is, you know, knowing the quality of the women that, that you had to beat to do that? Yeah, that's a pretty cool stat. Um, I haven't... Yeah, I, I definitely knew that it was a deep field, and um, you know, I'm just honored to, to race against some pretty great uh, runners, and we're sending a great team to Paris. So, what does it mean to you to be an Olympian? <laughs> um, it's it's a dream come true. Yeah. How's the feeling different to 2021, your first Olympic team, if at all? Yeah, it definitely feels different, but um, I just feel like a new, a different athlete, and. All of what I did in 21 has given me confidence and, um, you know, it's given me, you know, better preparation for this Olympics. Will it be really different to be able to have your friends and family there? Definitely. I'm really looking forward to that. That was one of the hardest things about Tokyo was that they weren't able to go over and um, I definitely, you know, missed them while I was there. And, you know, it was uh, definitely a different kind of feel to not have them there. And so. And I've never been to Paris, so I'm really excited about that. And um, yeah, my husband will be there, my sister will be there, and hopefully yeah, Ivan. So. Has your training been more 5K focused this year than previous years? Uh, no, not not necessarily. Thank you all, all so right. much.